systems such as this um, complicate, for lack of a better word, starting new businesses, or like if you held an auction, would that potentially disadvantage smaller firms, or like what kind of consequences would there be? Interesting question. Yeah. Well, in in this case, you know, the auction, the people who would be uh, required to buy permits are the people importing fossil fuels into the into the economy. So most of them are pretty big firms, actually. There aren't that many small operators, but there are some small ones, you know, the wildcat drillers in Texas or whatever, right? And they'd go to the auction too. One of the nice things about auctioning the permits as opposed to giving them away is you're actually not creating barriers to entry into the field, right, into the industry. Right? If you give the permits away, this was one of the fears about that SO2 program, you give the permits away to the utilities, how's anybody else going to get into the business, right? Because these guys have all the, the, the permits locked up, right? So for that reason, actually, I said they, they um, gave away 100% of the permits. Actually, they gave away 98 or 99%. They kept a little bit for extras for new entries into the, uh, into the power sector uh, to try to address that problem. But, um, uh, you know, basically, fuel, fuel supplying businesses would need any of them, big or small, would need permits, and they'd be competing in a level playing field. Now, the permits would be auctioned. Um, other small businesses would be affected just like you and me. All other businesses would be affected the way you and I would be affected. They'd face higher prices for fuels, um, and the businesses would pass on those prices to their customers. We'd all end up paying. Um, and those who invest in efficiency will be able to lower the hit that they take, right? That's creating those incentives. Um, yeah, I think.